As a working mom and entrepreneur, how do you make it work? Barbara Williford here from East Texas. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. If you are catching my live, um, drop in the comments where you are watching me from. If you are catching the replay, type replay. If you are an entrepreneur mom, um, type what your business is in the comments below. You know, the golden age for women entrepreneur is finally here. Women now make up 40% of the new entrepreneurs in the United States, the highest percent since 1996. And women own close, <clears throat> excuse me, women own close to 10 million businesses, 10 million businesses, accounting for $1.4 trillion in receipts. So my question again is, as a working mother and an entrepreneur, how do you make it all work? You know, for most of us, um, we make it all work because we wouldn't have it any other way. This is the best opportunity to have time freedom to spend with your family. And it can be difficult juggling your business and your home life. I know for my family and I, it has been a blessing, but for me personally, I'm having a hard time juggling working from home because there's so many distractions. I keep thinking of all these things that I need to do around the house or for my family that I can't get my work done. So I found this great article with some wonderful ideas. So whether you are a work from home parent or a working outside the home parent, these tips are for you. Number one, negotiate responsibilities with your significant other. Um, I do have to remind my family that I'm running two businesses from home and that I do need their help. So admit that you need help. Remind them that you cannot do it all by yourself. So there's a couple of ways that you can handle it. You can have one day designated for cleaning and have your significant other take the, the kids away to the park or to the zoo or to the grandparents' house. Another trick would be to divide and conquer. Um, that's what we do at our house. We divide up the responsibilities between us all and we get it knocked out in no time. If your kids are old enough to help with some of the cleaning responsibilities, give them some duties to help as well. Another trick that you could do is you could divide the um, household responsibilities, um, break them down throughout the week in small little chunks. I did find this great app to help you do that. Um, if you would like to uh, know what that app is, give me some thumbs up. But one rule to avoid activity overload is that you must reserve one day each weekend for unscheduled activities. Try to spend that time with your kids and with your family. Instead of dragging them all around while you run errands, spend quality time with them. Take them to the park, sit outside and read with them, um, and cut yourself some slack. You do not have to be perfect, much less in everything. This sounds like a good idea. Drop a one in the comments below. Number two, if your kids are in daycare or, um, or in school, there is this short window of time in the evening that you get to spend with them. And you don't want to spend the night nagging about homework or better yet, spend all night doing the homework. So get um, a daycare or after school tutor that can help with the homework. You know, it may be a, a high school student or it may be a college student that just needs an extra buck that can help you out. And they can also bring the kids home, which will save on traveling time, so that's more time that you can work your business. Um, and this also frees up your um, time in the evening that you're not focusing on homework, that you can focus on your kids and your family. And remember, all that cleaning can wait. Spend time with your family. It's okay. Drop a two in the comments below if you would like more time with your family. Number three, 
If the budget allows, hire help. Hire someone to come in and clean the house, as mentioned before. Um, have someone come in, um, as I mentioned before, have someone come in and tutor the kids. You also have options to shop online. Shop online for groceries and save all that time in the grocery store. I really wish I'd had that when my kids were little. It would have saved a lot of time and a lot of sanity. Even if you work from home, hire a nanny. Hire a nanny to come in and take care of the kids and the housework while you work. You are running a business. Who already uses these services? Drop a heart emoji in the comments below. Okay, number four. Break out time in half hour chunks for teaching, feeding, cleaning, and working. Set a schedule. For me, I have to set alarms for myself throughout the day to keep myself on track. Also, manage emotions and energy by focusing on what's in front of you. Number five, spend the waking moments with your children and when they are asleep, get work done. It does get exhausting, but it is totally worth it. If you are an entrepreneur, you may have to make some sacrifices, some personal sacrifices. Um, you may have to sacrifice on hobbies and entertainment during this time that you're building your business. So, you know, skipping TV and Netflix and leisure reading for a couple of months is so worth it in the long run when you have built your business and you have more time freedom. And number six, when you need personal time off, put it on your calendar and work your schedule around it. Plan ahead. Take time one day a week to plan your schedule, appointments, income producing activities, plan your menu for the week, make out your grocery list and use your online shopping, meal prep if possible, and have those breakfasts and lunches ready the night before and your ingredients ready for dinner. Number seven, designate time. Sorry, my dogs are going wild. My husband's home. Number seven, designate time to be with your family. Don't answer emails, text messages, or calls. Don't work while you're at home together. And make sure that your team and your customers know your hours of operation. If you are open for business 24-7, you are going to get burned out. So focus on your family during your your off hours. This will be less stressful for you and for them and give them your undivided attention. Don't be thinking about everything you have to do and what you have to take care of. This is a priority for you. Type family in the comments below. And number eight, put everything on a calendar, family obligations, kids activities, and then schedule your business around these events. Make sure that you block off family time and you have time for self-care like exercise or a spa day. Be mindful of these meetings that are going to suck up your time. Are these meetings necessary or could they be taken care of with a phone call or a Zoom meeting? Remember that travel time to and from meetings is time that you could be better used. If you do have to meet, set up a time limit for that meeting and stick with that. Other business people are going to understand and respect your time, and this is duplicatable for other people that want to join you. So I hope that you found this information valuable. I know for me, working from home and being my own boss was a priority so that I could have the time freedom to spend with my family. But even if you are working from home, you still need to be able to juggle your home life, juggle your family, and juggle your business. So if you want to know the website where I got this information from, um, type me in the comments below below or reach out to me and I'll share this information. Also, if you want more information on how you can be your own boss and work from home, reach out to me. I would love to share with you my journey and the journey of others. So thank you for watching. Feel free to tag someone or share this video and you have a blessed evening.